This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. There was an incident where they were playing the Nintendo Wii, which is the remote control one where you, you swing it and such. Uh, and uh, they were playing with friends at another house. It was all documented. And I guess uh, Keith had swung his arm and his elbow and actually hit her in the eye. Complete accident. Friends witnessed this. It was not, she didn't get punched. It wasn't abuse. It was just a freak accident. But then she went and told some of her friends to get sympathy that she was being abused by her yeah. husband who did truly love her and truly cared about her. It, yeah. it's, it, are, are people like that capable of feeling love, of capable of feeling true, uh, you know, care from another or empathy or or anything of that uh, in that world? Uh, I mean, or is everything just very transactional in terms of um, you do this for me, I do this for you, and that exactly. makes me happy and it's bizarre? Yeah, exactly. It, it is all about what do they get out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. And if role-playing the perfect wife earns them points and earns them attention, they'll do that. But when it's to their advantage to get more attention from being a victim and being, you know, oh, I, I was hit by my husband, then they'll go that direction. So it really is always about them. It's not not an empathic connection with other people. And they use their kids in that same way. There's a lot of people out there that are like this, and they don't always commit horrible crimes in, in terms of, of what we saw in this or, or faking your abuse and all of that. But how do we as a society get ahead of any of this or, or treat any of this before it gets to such an extreme? Because there are people that that suffer in relationships where they discover further on, oh, my God, look who I'm with. Yeah. And, and yeah. they really played it really well. Then you're, you're stuck in this trap. I've been there. I've been in relationships like yeah. that where I feel Me like too. one step later. Yes, you have too. where where yeah. it, it's like it could have gone to this extreme. Um, in some cases, it got pretty damn close. Um, but when you're just trying to be a good human being and be a good partner, you can get blindsided. Then after it's done and, and they're out and you're on your own again, it's just the cycle continues and somebody else is going to be the victim of these people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I wonder with Sherry Papini. I mean, she, you know, she's an attractive woman. And if somebody doesn't do their homework on this woman and look up what her story is or doesn't understand what it is, um, she's just going to keep doing this in, in my summation of it. I mean, that's just my, who knows, uh, hopefully not, but, um, but, but there's no, there's no rails for people like this. It's just like, okay, mm -hmm. good luck. Go out there. Help people mm -hmm. recognize it before you, you ruin exactly. their lives. Exactly. I, I think we're trying to do a, a good job. We're trying, those of us who work in the psycholo psychological field of, of educating the public, um, keeping therapists tuned in, because, you know, if you went to school many years ago, this wasn't always well understood, mm -hmm. you know, decades in the past. I think we know more about it than we used to. But certainly there are more books out for the general public, and I, I can think of quite a few that I recommend to people. And, uh, you know, we just have to keep educating, 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 and like your show talking about it so people can learn more about the personality disorders and the way that people can present as, as a chameleon and, you know, behave one way. But you always have to look at the behavior, not the words. Yeah. And I would love to see more psychology classes in high school where we address these things. Too. I agree. If people could, I mean, I, I, I think there'd be nothing more valuable than more understanding of psychological conditions for young people uh, and less fluff, less stuff that we're never, ever yeah. going to use in life. Let's understand the mind. Let's understand how we interact yes. with one another. If somebody is watching this right now because they're like uh, trying to figure out their own life and what's because like, people will Google this, people will find this and it will be a resource. Give us some of the books. I know I have my list that I've gone through, but but from you directly, what would be some of those that you'd say out to somebody who feels like, well, there, there's kind of some likenesses here with this case in my life uh, to kind of better understand this and get a better grip on what's going on in their world? Yeah, one of my favorite um, authors right now is a lady named Sandra Brown, and I believe she has a website. You can just Google her, Sandra Brown Therapist. Um, one of her books that... 
I recommend to a lot of people. Now, the title is a bit misleading because it really goes into the cluster B personality disorders, but it's called Women Who Love Psychopaths. But it applies <laughs> to men, too. Yeah. Um, but it's a very good book that she breaks down the narcissism, the histrionic, the, you know, the psychopathic individual and the way that very good hearted people get manipulated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they folks like this tend to latch on to people who have a lot of empathy, who tend to see the best in people, people who are well-meaning, and they get taken advantage of. And I certainly see Keith Papini as a person like that. Yeah. So, you know, it's unfortunate. It says women who love psychopaths because it applies to, it everybody. Applies to yeah. everybody. But but it's a very user-friendly book and very comprehensive. That, so that's by Sandra Brown. That'd be a good one to check out. The documentary is on Hulu right now called Perfect Wife, uh, worth watching. Uh if nothing else, just from a psychological standpoint to, to see what some people are capable of. It's quite scary, but a fascinating yeah. conversation. Yeah. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.